Today is Data Studio Masterclass, sharing, tracking, and management of the reports. The things that we want to talk about is the sharing options. So we have the reports ready. We'll be ready to share with a client, with the world, with our friend, with our team members to help us edit anything. What are our options for sharing? What should we know about different options, the pros and cons, and which sharing option should we use at any case scenario? We talk about limiting access for viewers and editors, because whenever we share data studio with viewers and editors, again, we can limit their access to a certain amount. And we will talk about that as well. We talk about presentation mode, row level security, which is something really nice. And depending on the case by case basis, it can save you a lot of time. We will talk about that. Tracking the report usage. So how many times your report is being viewed? Is anyone actually using and viewing your support? Auditing log and alerts. So who's accessing your report? Who's editing them? Is there anything changed on your report? This is something that you can actually track and audit and you can get notifications. We'll talk about that. Report publishing setting, which is very handy, especially as soon as you finish the report for the first time and share it with the client, but you still need to work on that report ongoingly because you might want to add pages or new functionality or fix something, et cetera. Version history and managing ownership. Okay. Let's jump into Data Studio. We have a lot to talk about today. Okay. So back to Data Studio. First, let's start with sharing and security. And I'm going to talk about sharing options. A Data Studio report, when we finish creating it and we're already in the edit mode, we can click on the share button just like any other Google document, like a Google Doc or Google Sheet, and we are presented with different options for sharing it with people. The first option is sharing publicly. If I click on this one and then I click invite people, I will be presented with this dialog box. If I click share, it is the same dialog box. And here, if I go to manage access and click on anyone with the link can view or whatever value is there already, right? If I open this drop down menu, I can see six, seven different options for myself. Anyone on the internet can find and view. So this is basically means that it is crawlable and the search engines even can find your reports and index the content on your report. Some people, they have done that for their lead magnets. So actually, if you search for something, their report, just like a website, can rank on search engines. But then you can decide when someone clicks on that link, can they click edit and actually see how your report is created or do they just view the report and that's it. They can just view the report and they cannot click edit and see what's behind the scenes. Another level would be, and anyone with the link can view. So this is unlisted, right? It, it, no one can find the report unless they have the actual link to your, your report, but they do not need to specifically have access to it. So you can put it on this option and just share it publicly on your website, on your blog, on your on a Slack channel. And anyone who has the link can view the report or edit it depending on your choice. And then if you're working in a large organization or in a team, you have Google Workspace, you have a domain, you can decide that anyone within your organization is either able to view or edit your report. And finally, you can completely lock your report and say it's of only a specific people that I add them to the report can actually see it. Right now, this report that I'm using for this presentation, link sharing is on. Anyone with the link can view it. So if I copy it and if I share it in the chat, you can click on it and you can open it in your browser and view the report as we go. But if I remove this one, and put it on off, only a specific people can access. Then only people that are listed here, which basically I added them in the previous tab, myself and myself using two different accounts at CLWork.com, one is the owner, one can edit. And if you have people here, you can change their level of access, remove them, make them owner, or change them to only be able to view the report. And this is also something else that we wanted to talk about. Regarding the organization here, is it the organization hierarchy as in, I don't know, Google Tech Manager, Google Analytics accounts, 
or is it the domain you are hosting actually at Google? Do you it, know? It is your Google Workspace domain. Yeah, Google Workspace domain. Yeah, it is your Google so it, Workspace domain. Okay, so it is not the organization level of Google accounts. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I believe not. So it is your. Yeah. Domain. I don't use the organization level really in my Google Workspace. I only have one organization, but I believe it's a domain. Yeah. Okay. I might I be you, wrong. I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. So these are the options that we have. So we can share publicly. We can share with anyone with the link. And let me close this one and open it again. We can share explicitly. So I can enter someone like John at hohowto.com, something like that. And I can share this report explicitly with them, especially if I lock the report and I can give them access to either edit or just view the report. Okay. So you, these are the Chris, options for sharing the report. Question? Yeah. Do you know if this works with the Google's marketing platform? So if you create an organization there and you create all the structures in there, does it tie into that? Do you know? No, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. That was actually my question. I, we don't think that's the case here. Yeah. Yeah. If you test it and find the answer, I would be happy to know. Sure. Okay. okay. You can add different people. You can separate them with comma and add multiple people, like 50 people at once or even more, and then send access to them. The thing here is they have to have a Google account. So there's this email should be managed by Google. If it's an email address that is not a Google account, doesn't have a Google account then it will give you an error and it doesn't allow you to share explicitly. Then you have the other options like sharing publicly, anyone with the link, etc. Something that I want you to note is that you can decide whether to notify or not notify the people to whom you're giving access to. And sometimes it might not be important, but there was once that we created this report and the client wanted us to share this, share the report with 20 people in the organization but they wanted them to go through an onboarding before they actually start viewing and using the reports. They wanted them to have access, but they wanted to start onboarding two days later in a training session and just tell them, this is the link, go visit this link. You already have access and this is the way you use your reports and you have to use it daily or weekly, et cetera. This page is daily, this page is weekly. But the mistakes that we've made, and I knew about it, but I just didn't pay attention. I was, I guess, in a hurry. And it was not the right thing to do, but they actually checked notified people. So I didn't change it because by default is unnotified people. And it n notified everyone immediately. They got an email notification, they click and it's, they start playing with the reports. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the, the way that the client wanted them to experience the onboarding, but it happens and then oh, we had to deal with it. Just note about this one. If you do not notify them, then you have the just you have the luxury of just sending them through any kind of onboarding that you want, sharing the link whenever you want with. That is about sharing publicly with anyone or explicitly.